This is the Domio Helmet audio device. Can it really turn this into a quality listening experience when you're riding? Let's find out. Hop on! We're going to test out the Domio on a few different bikes and a couple of different helmets. But first, let's check out the product itself. This is the Domio Moto Pro Kit. The packaging is very nice. The instruction card inside has a very handy QR code, which takes you to the website for video instructions on how to mount the device and other tips. Inside, you'll find the actual Bluetooth audio device that mounts to the outside of your helmet. It's rechargeable, appears to be well-engineered, weatherproof, and built to last. Pressing the button at the top powers it on, very intuitive and simple to operate. This is the pro mic that mounts inside the helmet to allow you to make and receive phone calls. This is only included in the Moto Pro kit. Personally, I don't typically make or receive calls when I'm riding. However, I did test it out in my full face helmet and it works great. Inside you'll also find this mounting wedge for mounting the pro mic inside your open face helmet. The wedge goes inside the ear pocket. You also get some Velcro strips for mounting the pro mic inside your full face helmet. The kit also includes, of course, mounting plates for the audio device. I've already mounted one to my full face helmet and one to my open face helmet. So I have already attached the mounting plate to the back of my helmet after determining that that was the best sound. Now, what you want to do is you want to pair your device with your smartphone, get some music playing through it, put your helmet on, and then move this around until you hear the best fidelity. This is a showy Neotech. For me, back here was the best on this helmet. Now, this is a modular helmet, so it's not one continuous solid shell like a standard full face helmet would be. So whether or not that affects the audio, we will find out. So after determining where you want to put your mounting plate, clean the surface, attach it, wait a minimum of 30 minutes is what they say. I waited a full day and it is stuck on there very nicely. So the unit mounts and dismounts from the helmet. Incredibly easy. You just push these little tabs and it slides right out and it slides back in and fits very snug and it's not going anywhere. And by the way, if you ever want to remove one of these things or a GoPro mount or something, you can just take some dental floss and get the dental floss in between the helmet and your mount and just slowly work it back and forth. It won't damage the surface of the helmet and you'll be able to release that super strong bond of 3M tape, free tip. This is an approximation of what the sound is like outside and then inside the helmet. Let's take this out on the streets and see how it really performs. Test bike A. Custom Bonneville. Aftermarket pipes. Loud as f Here it is. This is my Bonneville, my custom Bonneville. And it's got some loud pipes. They're street legal, but they're loud. So... We may be hard pressed to hear, look at that, rolls. Stretch rolls, holy moly. We may be hard pressed to uh, hear the music, but let's give it a shot. I'm actually taking this bike in right now to get some new tires, different style of tires. And I'm gonna put on some uh, Clubman style handlebars. Okay, yeah, I can tell already that with loud pipes, if you have a bike with loud pipes, it's gonna be difficult to hear the music with the Domeo. Not impossible, I can still hear, nice Ferrari. I can still hear the music, but I can't really decipher if it's Barry Manilow or Post Malone. And here's our guy. Good people here. This British beat, Triumph. 
Yeah, it's definitely difficult to hear the audio with this obnoxiously loud Bonneville. I'm so jazzed though. I just got the new tires on here and it looks awesome. However, the handle, this is just too low for my old man back. I'm wearing my full face showy helmet, which is very quiet and has very little wind noise, but I'm having difficulty hearing the audio in a clear fidelity on this bike simply because it's loud. If we were riding on the expressway, probably impossible to hear the tunes. So this is the Imperial Palace over here on our left. And off to the right where you see all these buildings, this is Madanochi and Otemachi business district of Tokyo. We're riding at speed, a relatively loud exhaust on this bike. I mostly just hear it, tss, 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 the hi-hat. I'm losing the bass response and I can't really decipher what song this is. Test bike B, speed triple, stock, relatively loud. All right, we're on the speed triple at a light. With just the engine noise, I can hear the music very nicely. I have the Domeo at full blast right now. And on the speed triple, I am able to uh, hear the music. It seems to be working okay. Keep in mind that the speed triple is a stock exhaust, so it's relatively quiet. There is a bit of a loss of bass with this slightly louder bike. But in urban traffic, on this bike with stock exhaust, the audio is uh, is uh, acceptable. I'm using my full face helmet. Yeah, this is much easier to hear in comparison to the Bonneville with the aftermarket exhaust. It's just simply hard to beat the in-ear earphones for their bass response and ability to seal off any outside noise. Test bike C, late model Vespa, very quiet. So we're getting on the Shuto Expressway here in Tokyo. And I can tell already that the audio is much easier to comprehend when I'm riding my Vespa with this windscreen. So obviously there's going to be more uh, wind sound protection with this full windscreen. And also the scooter is a much quieter vehicle. The Domeo is performing very well. I'm getting some good bass response. It's just really comfortable to be able to put your helmet on and not have anything in your ears, but still have relatively decent fidelity in your tunes. So this is a modular full face helmet. So if you have a solid shell full face helmet, I would say that the audio is probably even better. So now we're in an urban setting in the city, off the expressway, heading into Rapongi here. Engine fan noise, but I can still hear the music loud and clear. It's working very nicely. Again, this is a little bit more of a controlled environment with the, uh, with the windscreen here and on the quiet bike. But uh, we're in traffic. I'm pleased with the way it sounds. So this is Rapongi in Tokyo. This is kind of the night spot. This is Rapongi Hills. Y'all have seen Kill Bill, right? Remember that epic sword fighting scene? That was filmed on a set made to look like this restaurant right here. It's awesome inside there. The Domeo Moto Pro. I like it. I love the concept. I think it's a brilliant leap for in-helmet audio. The battery life is very impressive. I've listened for hours and it's just now on a low battery mode. Battery mode. My findings, it's best paired with a full face helmet with minimal wind noise on a quieter bike or scooter. I think as more and more electric bikes become available that are on the quieter side, the Domeo will really shine. If you're expecting the Domeo to transform your helmet, into a thumping club in Ibiza with hot chicks, you better book a flight.
Thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you can always buy me a cup of coffee. Details are in the description. Be sure and check out my live streaming channel for live streams all around Tokyo and Japan. Details are in the description. Run carefully, guys, and I will do the same. See ya.